All right, we're the Hebrew Israelite. And as you know, you know, we come in our week in and week out to wake up our people, you know, because this is the time. But before, you know, we carry on, we'll turn to the east because our people used to pray to the east. So we're going to give praises to the east in this Babylon setting. So we're going to turn to the east and we're going to give our praise. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Waha, Racha, Wadash. All right, double honors to the, G, uh, the apostle of GMS who teach and rule well. Okay, peace and salutation to the brother who are in the law preaching the gospel like we do every Shabbat and whenever they can, you know, throughout the word to bid, you know, the people of the Mosai to the marriage. And shallow one more half to the brothers and the sisters who are willing to learn because we are in time where, you know, we have to learn this truth, man. Okay, we have no choice. Okay, because the God, the God that we serve is a judge. That's one thing our people don't, don't grasp, you know. We are in Babylon, we were told to do whatever we want because the, the oppressor do whatever he wants. But us as a people, we are a peculiar people who were given the law. We were given a dietary law, okay? We were given, you know, a Shabbat law where we have to keep it holy one week, you know, throughout the week. So you take one day, which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, okay? And shouldn't commit adultery should they kill but because we were made captive we started to do what the the, the oppressor did but that, that it doesn't mean that it's right so today we're going to be talking about what's going to happen step by step right to the best of our ability you know but sometimes we got time is again you got something that you want to bring okay go to uh, Ezekiel 9 and 6 let's start there but before that go to uh, Psalm 78 and 2 because the reason why her people don't understand this Bible is because the Bible is a literature. The Bible is not just a, a book that you read, you know, and think that you will understand. No, it takes the Holy Spirit and it takes us what guidance. People that will show you how to read it, how to understand. Because this book is deep, you know. This is Psalm 78 verse 2. Right. I will open my mouth in a parable. Right, so I will open my mouth in parable. That's why the one that they call Jesus, which is Yahweh Shai, Okay, he always spoke in parable. Okay, he always spoke in parable, and that's why when you read the Bible, you read the Bible, you're like, No, nah, I don't understand what that what does it mean? It, it, it will refer, for example, Israel as a woman. Okay, and then you'll be like, What does that mean? No, that's that's how the most I speak. So it's about like going to school again. Okay, you gotta go to school, you gotta humble yourself, forget about everything you learn, and take up the challenge to learn a new thing and your spirit will be able to tell you you know just like when you go to church when you go to church Mitch when you go to church your spirit is not happy you know yeah my spirit is not happy you know why because the most I put a spirit on you for you to know what's bullshit man yeah, 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 yeah. when you hear bullshit you able to decipher whatever is real or if it's bullshit yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what I'm saying but yeah. first of all you gotta learn when you when they, when they, when they invite you to church you say okay let's go but if you didn't go, you wouldn't know that it's bullshit, right? Yeah, yeah. You went there yourself, sat down, and the spirit of the Lord that's in you because you're an Israelite. To get up. This is bullshit. Right. Yeah. So carry on. I will utter dark sayings of old. Right. I will, I will utter dark saying of old. Meaning, you know, you're gonna you're gonna preach the old wisdom. This is the old, the Bible is the old. Let me bring out a Bible, man. Because people might see me with the funny thing that let me bring the King James Version, man. And also when you read the Bible, you can't be reading just any any version out there, because you have, you you will find out that the white man wrote a lot of the version. He wrote it not that he wrote the Bible himself, but he corrupted a lot of the verses. So sometimes when he but the original version that you will read that will make you that will lead you through the, through the lights is the King James version. Why? Because people don't know that the King James was a black man. He was the, the, the last king in Europe. He was the king of England, Ireland, and Scotland. All right? And he translated this Bible from the, the Hebrew, all right, and the Greek into the English. All right? So it's very important. The King James Version. All right? Carry on. Which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. Right, carry on. We will not hide them from their children. Well, we will not hide them from their children. So. It was, it was going to come a time where you were going to listen to the old 
energy, the old wisdom that we lost through slavery and colonization. You see, so the Bible of Mosa now allows you to hear the wisdom, man, and make up your mind about it. You know, carry on. Showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and His strength and His wonder. Can you read it loud, please? Showing to the generation to come the praise of the Lord mm -hmm. and His strength mm -hmm. and His wonder, wonderful works mm -hmm. that He have done. Right, and the wonderful work that He has done. Okay, because the Most High have done the wonderful work, but because we're in captivity, we haven't seen these beautiful works yet. We haven't seen it, but it's coming. Okay, for those who doubt, we will, we will very soon see. He will renew again <laughs> His power. He will show it. He will show His power again, man. Okay, the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, will show. And you see, what's funny is this: it's only, only. When they're starting to, when brothers and sisters starting to see the power of the Most High, that's when they want to come. But it will be too late. And we will show you why it will be too late. Read it. For he established a testimony in Jacob. For he established a testimony in Jacob, man. Okay, and that's the testimony right now. The testimony in Jacob is the fact that, you know, people are waking up I'm in this truth, man. Yeah. We used to that's call ourselves good. Africans. We know Africans. Cool. I mean, me, I'm from West Africa, but I'm not African. I'm Israelite in Africa, as well as my people that were taken, my distant cousin that were taken to Jamaica, Barbados, Guyana, and all of those things, America, and things like that. But we're not African. So we used to call ourselves African due to the lack of knowledge. The Bible says how my people perish perish due to, uh, I mean, to lack, uh, for lack the lack of, of lack of knowledge. But the Moses said he would do what? He would bring a testimony in Jacob. Yeah, right. And Jacob is Israel, because for those who don't know, Jacob had a fight with an angel. And the, he wouldn't leave the angel, man. He said, unless you bless me, I'm not going to let you go. And he was done. So the angel said, yo, let me go, man, because he's getting, you know, the morning is coming. He said, bless me. He said, you know what? Your name won't be Jacob. You know, because Jacob means sub surplanter. And that's how our people are very sneaky. They have malice, you know. <laughs> They're always doing things against each other. That's the spirit of our ancestor. But that name was changed spiritually. And our name now from Jacob became Israel. And Israel is Yasha Allah, Yashar. which is Yasha Allah, right? Which is, he is the prince of the power. And you see that Allah. So that Allah is what a Muslim you know, worship, but Allah just been power. See, that's one proof that everything came from us. If you really go deep into the, you know, the, 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 the science of it. Yeah, carry on. And appointed a law in Israel. So he appointed a law in Israel. So brothers and sisters, I want you to listen very clearly, man. I don't want people to make a mistake. That's the reason why we dying off. The reason why we dying off in Babylon is because we went against that law. Because whatever we want it or not, there is a law that was given to us and that we have to, you know, at least rehearse. At least try to, 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 to apply in our daily lives, man. And the reason why we in slavery, the reason why the white man, which is not actually stronger than us, is able to put us down like that, is because we went against our power. Think about it, man. Look how strong we are. Who's stronger than us? No one. Who is stronger? Who is who got more swagger? Who got more flavor than the black so-called black men and Hispanic? No one. But how come we are the bottom? Something has happened, man. So what the most I did, he put your your the one, the wicked one, on top of you to make you feel some pain. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you gotta come back now to the law. And it's a very hard thing because listen to me. In Babylon, you grew up with some your lifestyle. Some smoke the weed, okay? Now, cannabis is not a bad thing, it's not a bad thing in itself. The drinking of cannabis is not a bad thing. But it's the smoking that becomes another, but I'm not gonna go, get into it because obviously we can talk about that later, but there's habits, habits, there's ways, there's even philosophy that you picked up, picked up from your father, from your mother, from your auntie, from your family. There's a lifestyle that you have that you're gonna have to leave to come to who you are. And that's hard. That is very hard. 
But nevertheless, we have to apply ourselves. This is the time for us to apply ourselves, man. You know? So Malak, carry on. Which he commanded our fathers. So he commanded our fathers, yeah. That they should make them known to their children. That they should make them known to the children, man. So this law, we cannot escape it. We cannot escape this law. And that's the mosaic, mosaic law. Now I'm gonna go to uh, quickly go to uh, Exodus 24 and 8, and I'm gonna show you what happened. What really happened? Why are we in this mess, man? Because we broke the covenant against our father, man. Against our power. He is a power. Exodus chapter 24 and verse 8. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it so on the Moses, people. So Moses, which were our leader when we were in the wilderness, because we left Exodus. You got Bob Malay singing about Exodus. You got a Jamaican singing about Exodus. Exodus, it means something. So we were captive in Egypt, man. We were captive in Egypt, so we're not Egyptian. All right? And the Mosaic took us out of it, right? So what did he do? Read it from the top again. Um, from the eight. Exodus from, from 24 eight. And, eight. and Moses mm -hmm. took the blood and uh -huh. sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant, which Yahweh have made with you concerning all these words. Now, I don't know if you heard it. In this world, in a musical world, people to make money, sometimes they sign the contract in blood. So blood is a very powerful thing. Think about it. If someone stab you up now, and, and, and you, we don't press it up until the, the paramedic come and you lose blood, you might die. Why? Because it's your life force. So blood is very important. He took the blood of an animal and sprinkled it up on, Hebrew, on, on Israelite. And that was the signature, the contract. We signed the contract in blood with the Most High. Carry on. Then went up Moses and Aaron, uh, Nabdab and Abihu, uh -huh. and the 70 of the elders of Israel. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it, that's it, that's the eight. So read the eight again one more time so you can really... You know, Exodus chapter 24, verse 8. And yeah. Moses took the blood uh -huh. and sprinkled it on uh -huh. the people. And sprinkled it on the people. And said, Behold, the blood of the covenant. And said, Behold, the blood of the covenant. Which Yahweh have made with you. Which Yahweh have made with you concerning these words. So Yahweh has made a blood covenant. Now go quickly to Deuteronomy 28 for the brothers, man. Because, you know, sometimes you got to go. To the basic and quickly we can move on so this is what happened yeah so deuteronomy 28 you read verse 1 and you go to 15. deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently so the most i say if you hearken meaning if you keep the law carry on unto the voice of yahweh thy unto power, the voice of yahweh thy power to observe and to do all his commandments so if you keep the law as a people Carry on. Which Your I command this yeah. day. This I command it. So I give you that order. Once the blood is on you, you have no choice. There's no getting away. Carry on. That Yahweh, thy power, mm -hmm. will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And that's the reason why, if you look at us, we're the salt of this earth. See? That's why the white women want to sleep with you. The other nation, they like you, they hate you because you got something that they, even your hair. Your hair locks. Your hair is is it, 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 it like it's like a circle mode. You know why? Because you take your power from what the sun. That's why in this country, when you go to the to the doctor, they tell you, oh, you're low in vitamin. You know why? Because there's not a lot of sun in this country. In this captivity, it's always cold. Right. That's why you're. You see, you're different. The most I put you on high. You are. Look. If you look at all the country in this, in, this, in Europe, where there's the less black people, so-called black people, because we're not black, yeah. we're brown, okay? So when I say so-called black people, so we can understand what we're talking about. If you look at in, in this in, in, in country in Europe where there's less black people, it's a very dull, dry, and boring country. The reason why England is the way it is, the reason why France is the way it is, the reason why Holland is the way it is, is because of black people. Because the Bible said that we are the salt. If you eat some food without salt, I'm sure there's no seasoning. There's no flavor. You have to eat. When, when you put the salt, some little maggie or whatever you put in there, then you're like, yeah, now, we, now we're talking. 
And that's 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 the circle black folly. So carry on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if yeah. thou wilt not hearken mm -hmm. unto the voice of the Lord thy mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments yeah. and his statutes which are commanded this mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You see, thee. but he told us though, you see, but if you don't keep these laws, the curses will fall upon you, man. So now let's go to the curses quickly before we carry on, man. Verse 16, curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. You see, curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the last city. Hi, last hired, first fired. Last hired, first fired. In when job you, places. You, don't have job. you have no chances to job. I work in places where like only these, these white people, man. Little mistake, they want to get rid of you, man. Yeah. They don't like you. You are a threat. You see, you go to the place when you when you got beer on your they want you to cut your beer off. Because you when you cut off your beard, what happens is that you send a feminine vibes. And you become like them. Because naturally you're above them. And they know that. So they want to make you to their level. So that's the reason why in Jamaica you have pain. But even here you have pain. Then you go to Ghana, you have pain. But when you come here, your pain. You say, oh, let me leave Ni uh, let me leave Nigeria, let me leave Ghana, let me leave Jamaica, Barbados to come to Europe, only to find pain. Wherever you go, even when you have money, there's still pain. Until there's unity. Right. Peace. But you see, the unity comes from us building the kingdom. That's it. But there is a, there is a way to build the kingdom. To but there is a way to build the kingdom. It's by keeping this, look, it's like a constitution. If you drive a car in England and you go, they tell you, you can't park here from nine to six. If you park there, what's going to happen? You're going to have a fine. Yeah, so go, jump, jump now to uh, quickly to 54. Jump to 54. Deuteronomy 28 mm -hmm. and verse 54. Yeah. And it reads, it says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. And now, this is, this is why we got, uh, this is black why we got black, black and black crime. Yeah. Because before, when I saw you, brother, you see what, you see what we did? I'll show you, come, I'll show you. When I saw you, I, I did like that. I do, my brother, you good? And I did like that. And there's, there was a case where they used to kiss. They would kiss one here, one here. Right? That was the love. And I would ask you, how you doing? How is your mom? How is your father? How is your son? How is your brother? How is the business? Everything going? I cared about my brother. But because of the curse, his eyes shall be evil towards his, his brother. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. That's why you've got gangs. That's why we're killing each other. That's why there's no brotherly love anymore. Hmm. Because there is a curse that's upon us. Yes. Just to see that. It and it needs to be lifted. The only way to lift it up is to try to follow. Now, it's not easy. We spoke about that earlier. But you got to apply your mind. Like when you sow a seed. See that, see that tree? That tree wasn't overnight, you know. That's years and years and years and years to be where it is now. So it's, it's a step by step. Step by step. Right, but check the seed this. is important, yeah. As much as I'm blessed, you know. Yeah. That don't mean to say I'm fully blessed, you know. Yeah. Because if my brother is cursed, that means I'm cursed too. That's very powerful. You see it. You know why? And that's very and that's you see, it comes from having the right mind. Because what this society did is that as long as I'm good, I don't care about the rest. But you were able to recognize like if I'm blessed and my brother over there is not blessed, I mean I'm not blessed. You know why? Because really and truly, I am you, you are me. That's we are it. connected. That's it. But you see what the, what, what, what the Edomite, I'll say Edomite because that's the name. What they did is that they created confusion among us. That's it. But ultimately, that's the curse as well. We did it to ourselves, man. That's true. As much as we want to, we want to, we want to, um, how can I say that? Um, 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 accuse or put the blame or the enemy. Yes, see, there is part. We have to put the blame on ourselves. We have to put the blame on ourselves too, and man. Tricky, and take responsibility. But now, after you took the responsibility, what should you do? You're going to have now to do what? To follow the constitution. So we're going to carry on. Yeah, this is what happened. So after the 54, then we jump into 68 to see what really broke us. The slavery, man. He said, he said, look, I'm a man of my word, you know. I'm going to do it if you, don't, if you play with me. So this Bible is real. Scattered to the four corners. Scattered right? to the four Sahara corners. Sahara slave trade, the Atlantic slave trade. Yeah. And we've been in seven captivity. Yeah. The last one. 
That's the last one, so read it. And toward the wife of his bosom. Yeah. And toward the remnant of his children, uh -huh. which he shall leave. Yeah. Father jealous of the so, children. Yeah. Father jealous of the children, man. You got, mothers that are you got mothers that are jealous of their daughters, man. Mm. And in West Africa, sometimes they kill their own children through juju. Through voodoo, Sacrificing yeah. their children. They're sacrificing their old children through voodoo, man. Yeah. It happened all the time. It happened. I've heard stories. Yes. Like, you know even, what, yeah? Even in Jamaica, like, where I come from. Mm. I've heard stories, man. Like, the voodoo, because the thing about Jamaica serious. is this. You got to remember, man. You came from the West Coast. From the West Coast, that's where you were at the point. I'm not saying you're from the West Coast. You're not from Africa. You're from Israel. But you were brought there because in 70 AD, what happened that the Romans took over Jerusalem, so we run, run to into the interior of West Africa. Africa. That's why we. That's why we be here. Then. So then after that, no, no, 70 AD. 70 AD. And then, uh, and then, then after that, boom, Jamaica, right? But you have to understand. There's a lot of brothers. There's a lot of people in Jamaica. They have the the, the Obi. The Obia. Obia. The Obia, the signs. But it's in, in West Africa, you it's call open. It Obia, but it's, it's, well, How do you call when it? When they say Obia, they make it sound like a bad thing. It's meant for good, but people use it for evil things. Yeah, yeah. So, because it's so, that powerful. Uh, so I will explain it to you. Right. So what it is, it is the Obia is nothing but the corruption of the priestly, the tabernacle work. Because in the Bible, the Levites. See them, see them Asian people? Asian, yeah. See them Asian? They are the Levites. They would be the priests. They will be the priests. That's why they're going through the hell that they go. They go because they were the top guy. They were the one that was speaking to the Most High on our behalf. So they, they've got the, the hardest part of the curse. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the voodoo, if you look at voodoo, if you go in the Old in the Testament, you will see even the sprinkling of the blood. That's stabbing a cold work, man. Because mm -hmm. we used to do sacrifice every time we sin. Mm -hmm. There's sacrifice that needs to be done. But today, people cut goats. Mm -hmm. they, they cut chicken when they want to do the little obia thing. You know yes. why? Because now, it's to, now instead of. They, they used to do that back in time to speak to the Mosai, to appease the Mosai. But now they're using it for what? For good. They're for evil. Instead of talking to the Mosai now, because the Mosai cut that line. Mm -hmm. So now they have to speak to who? The demons. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the demon, they work for 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 the most high as well, but on the left hand side of things. <laughs> That's true. Do you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, let's start. We go to 68 now. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And Yahweh shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. Egypt. Now let me let me break down Egypt for you. Caribbean. No 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 no. England. Let me break down Egypt for you, man. You will see England, America. But let me break because yeah. Egypt is a Greek term. Yeah. So you you, you have sometime here, yeah, what you do when you study something, you gotta go into words. Because if, if you don't if you don't know the word, it will it will it will, it will how can I say you wouldn't understand it. Yeah. You gotta know the etymology, the origin, the root word, and then you will be like, oh so Egypt, it wasn't called Egypt in other, it was it was called Masharayam. But the, the Greek called the Egypt. Now we have to find out what Egypt means. Yeah. So yeah, the, so we go to yes, House of Bonjes. House of Bonjes. The brother, he knows a lot. He knows a lot. But you know. So, so, what, so how they go from Egypt to Kemet? Huh? Eh? Kemet. Because Kemet, they come from the term Hama. Okay. Because the Kemet, the Egyptian, the original Egyptian, Hagarin. They are Ham. House of Bonjes. Yes, House of. Bondage. Right, right, right. But this, we were. But well, the reason why I say the House of Bonjes, because we were slaves in Egypt. You see what I'm saying? So these Kemet signs is one ignorance as well because you want to worship. Just it's, there's no difference between the Kemet and Christianity. But Christi Greco Roman Christianity is the you go into your enemy, to your master, to your enemy, and worship the god of your enemy. And Kemet is you going to your old enemy, your old master, and worshiping his god. Because Kemet is another word for Hama. Which is Ham. Ham. Because the children of Ham are the Egyptian. Yeah. Because in the Bible, they were Ham, they were Shem, and they were Japheth. We come from Shem. So in Africa, you got two lines. You got a Shemite, I'm a Shemite, he's a Shemite. And then the, the Somalian that you see, the Ethiopian, and that, they are the 
Hamites. So they're the Kemet, they're, Kemet. they're the real Kemet. They're the real Hama. Do you understand that? So there is a difference, but it takes understanding to be able to really get it. So Deuteronomy 5 and 6 says this, I am the Lord thy God, all right? And he says, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt is the house of bondage. Now, let me read you another verse to prove to you that you live in, 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 in the new Egypt. Yeah? Modern day Egypt. Modern day Egypt. Yeah? yeah. I will go to uh, Revelation. Everything is in the Bible, though. Everything is in the Bible, man. They, they tricked us. They tricked us, you know. They tricked us. But everything is in this Bible, man. So if you go to uh, Revelation 11 and 8, you know, it says, and the dead bodies now i told you earlier that this bible is literature it's not like you can't read the bible like you read in a book it's not literal most of the time it's metaphor hmm. you know so they say and the dead body shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called sodom and egypt now i'd like to ask you a question where did they legalize sodom england America, Europe, right? Yes, that's where they legalize it. So this place is the new Sodom and the new Egypt because when you look at the system today, they're using the ancient Melford system. Mm -hmm. The Freemason, all of that, that's the ancient Kemet system. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then he says here, Park. and he says here, he <laughs> say, uh, where also yes. our Lord were crucified, so that means that this is where, in this place, this is where they change the, the image of the original Jesus. But the original Jesus is a black man. His name is Yahweh Shai, but he's a black man. He's a so called black man. And he's in the Bible as well. You see what I'm saying? But they change it into a white man. This, this is how you crucify. How do they crucify people in, in the media? They pull, they, 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 they write lie on them, isn't it? They lie, they, they write yeah. lies on them, isn't it? Um, mythical stories. They wrote lie on, on, on the original Jesus, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's go. So we define Egypt. So read it from the top again. And this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. So honestly, technically, you don't need, from Egypt of, of the Northeast Africa, you don't need, from, from, you don't need, um, from Israel to Egypt, you don't need a boat. People used to work in like that. The, the Canal of Suez was just created by the British and Nasser when he was in power, when he was the president back in time, when he was the president of, of Egypt. So that was like a made up canal. But back in time, you could just walk in. So you didn't, you don't need to take a, a boat. The Egypt is talking about, talking about the America. Because that's the house of bondage, right? Where did we, where, 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 where were our people enslaved? Africa. America. America. Caribbean, South America, hmm. North America. And that's where they, they set up Babylon. That's where they set up the, the new age because how people went to hard labor, man. We, so the house of bondage, this is where how people were slaves. Where? America. And also you're slave today. Hmm. You're still a slave today. Europe, America. So he said he was going to send you in ship to it's just for people Egypt. To wake up and see it. Exactly. Carry on. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, yeah. thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again. So our people went and never came back. We never, we never go back to, we never go back to Israel. Even us, we never go back to Israel. Israel is if, if people that live in Israel are not our people. That's a different people. They took over our people. You can't go to Israel right now and say, oh, this is my, it's over. Until Yahweh shall come, Jesus come, the black Jesus come and put everything back. But he will come and put everything back. And they know that. That's why all of these things happening. Because they know that their rulership is about to be gone. There's a new rulership that's coming, you know. And it's not a Chinese rulership. It's the Israelite rulership, rulership black men. We're coming back into power. But this time we will be righteous. You see, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies, mm -hmm. born men and born women, and no man shall buy you. Right, no one shall buy you. And when I say no one shall buy you, I mean no one shall redeem you. 
You see, because, you know, Malcolm X did try, it didn't work. You understand what I'm saying? Malcolm X, he tried it, it didn't work. Martin Luther King tried it, it didn't work. Marcus Garvey tried it, it didn't work. They all, everyone that came as a strong man to liberate her people got murdered. Fidel Castro, they fought him, fought him. They did everything they can against him. Because the most I say, only me will take you out of your misery. And the only way you're gonna be taken out of your misery is by following my law to the best of your ability. You see? So, but do you know, do you know certain some of the law? Do you know some of the laws? What the commandments? Yes. I'll give you one. Go to uh I know the that, that, that you're keeping, you're keeping it, you're keeping it. Uh, <laughs> go to uh, uh, Levit Leviticus 19 and 27. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. He shall not round the corners of your head. See, you shall not round the corners of your head. You see how people, you go to, to and they line up, you shouldn't do that. That's why, what I like about the Rastafarian, they understand that, that particular power where they keep it. Because that's the old vibration, the old energy. A man shouldn't line up. All of that, he took it from Egypt and, and the Greek and other nation. We don't run up. We just leave it like that. You can make it look nice, but don't uh, have the shape of like, you know that little thing? You know, you know that little thing like we do, you know, that little shape of that we do. Uh, we're not supposed to do that. No, we're not supposed to do that. Yeah, it's supposed to show rough. But no, no, rough, yeah, yeah but the you know, like rough, but well done, nice. but like you know, rough because a man, that's a, a badge of men or manhood. Yeah. That's a badge of you know how the lion has his thing around him, and the lioness don't have it. That's the difference between us and yeah. yes, that's it. Yeah. Go on and go to the to twenty eight as well. Verse twenty eight. Mm -hmm. You shall not, not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead. You see that? So we shouldn't, like, you know the tattoos? Tattoos and that. We're not supposed to, because your body is your temple. You see? So that's the little thing like that. And also the dietary law. No pork, no prawns. You know, we shouldn't eat all of that. It's a little thing like that. Yeah. You know? And, and, and keep the Shabbat holy, which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Our people normally, but in time, they didn't work in that time. They just stuck home. And then they praise the Most High, man, for that day, you know, keeping the law, you know, in your heart, trying to keep the law. You should not commit adultery. Today, people make song about, oh, I fuck your wife, you know that. That's off, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, I know, I can see that, don't worry. But I'm just explaining, innit, for the people and that, you know, because yeah. you never know it's who's going to watch serious. it. This is what yeah. we need to be talking about. Exactly. This is, this is, this is the, the conversation that we're supposed to be having. But... The, 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 the power that be make sure that this conversation will take place because they want us to be acting like niggas mm -hmm. and gang banging. You know what I'm saying? They're ready to promote that. That's why they get all these rappers to do what they do to promote that, to that vibration. But they don't want to promote this functional home and once again destroying self, um, self destruction. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. But that one, that's the one that's going to build us, man. Now we're going to talk about something more serious, though. You know, go to. Um, Ezekiel 9, Ezekiel 9 and, and 9 and, and let's start at 4 and 6 because there's something that's coming. You got to understand, brother, we are living in a world where you've got angelic power around, around us. I'll give you an example. Every time you see a gang going against another gang, the angelic forces, yes. they put a spirit on that brother to go and kill the next brother, you know. Yes, that's true. It's not something that is done like us awesome one get you cannot get up and kill your brother, you know. How is the forces? There's a force, there's a force that pushes you to do things, you know. Yeah. And these forces are coming back on earth to regulate. But you gotta understand this. This earth has been polluted a lot. These forces are already here. They're not, not they're around us, man. It's for us to call up on these forces. Yeah, but no, but we call up on the most side, but the most side, he used these forces to do work. So very soon you're gonna see a lot of things that will happen, my brother. A lot of things will happen very soon, bro. And the forces are the one behind it. So we just wanna show you the spiritual reality so that once the thing about having the spiritual reality, when it comes to that, is that every time you face the situation, you understand the spiritual realm. You understand that it's bigger than you. You see the bigger picture. 
The reason why brothers can easily go and murder their own brother is because they don't see the bigger picture. They don't understand what's going on. They're thinking right there. They follow their emotion. And us men, because if we read the Bible in, um, let me read it to you quickly. In uh, Isaiah 48 and 6, yeah. It says something that's powerful, you know. You know, Isaiah, and the brother was saying earlier something that's powerful. He said that, you know, uh, single mothers and things like that. That's, that's, that's another plan as well of the enemy because when you grow up with mom, what happens? You take, you take some of the vibration. And what, 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 what women are known for? They're known to be what? Emotional. Emotional. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, we have to be men. That's what the Bible says. See, I call you to be men, so I'll read it quickly and then we won't carry on, brother. So, Deuteronomy 28, uh, um, 48. No, no, Isaiah. Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48. And he says this, I read the. Uh, he said, Isaiah 46 and 8 say, Remember this, right? Remember this and show yourself men. You see, remember this and show yourself men. So we have to be men. I'll give you an example. If you go prime with your brother, yeah, you can call him on the phone, man. Yes. If he doesn't want to listen, you gotta get some brothers and say, yo, we want to see you and talk to you, man. And if you don't want to listen, you leave him, you caught tie with him. This is how real men move. That's true. You know, instead of going and trying to kill him and that will hurt him. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's... A man has to be rational, composed, which is not easy because you live in this system and don't think that you're going to get off your old, the old man like that in one day. It's not going to happen, my brother. It don't takes, right. it takes real man power to do that, you know, real man power. But it's like training. First day is hard. Second day is hard, but what happens? Your body get conditioned. So when your body get conditioned now, your body wakes you up in the morning. Say, yo, let's go training. You don't want to do it, but your body say, don't. You feel like just like when you're when you're when you're hungry, you gotta go and eat. You can't train. Yeah, you, you gotta go. go and eat. So you wake up and go and train. Yeah, you train. Yeah. Okay. You know, wake up and do the thing. Why? Because your body need it. So that's what's going on. The more you get yourself involved with this truth, you know, the more. Your mind will be now conditioned to a certain uh, thought patterns. So you ain't gonna be thinking like other brothers anymore. And that will see the difference in you. But that will help. Why? Because something is coming. Let's read it. Ezekiel 4, 4 and um, Ezekiel 9, 4 and 6, man. Ezekiel chapter 9, you know? verse 4. Yeah. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Right. Through the midst of Jerusalem. You wanna you wanna Hmm? It's time to go. No, nah, man, I'm good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And set a mark yeah, yeah. upon the foreheads of the men. Right, so read it slowly. Four, start at four and read it slowly to six. Yeah. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, right. Go through the midst of the city. Go to the them. So he says, the Mosai speak, which the Mosai shows to Ezekiel. Ezekiel is a prophet. So the Mosai speaks to him. You know, he has a trance and the Mosai speaks to him. And the Mosai show him how the spiritual realm function, how he send the angel to do things. And this was what happened. When you see famine, when you see drought, lack of water, lack of food, when you see people tell you, oh, you have to, you need to, 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 to digitalize your currency. Basically, cash is no longer. Your cash don't matter anymore. You need to have a card. You need to have a chip here and here to go to the shop. You have to understand that it's the spirit that are working because people have seen a lot in this in, in, in this world. Mm -hmm. The Moses is about to bring now judgment. You see? So carry on. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Right, and Jerusalem is wherever the Israelites are. It's just a symbolic. That's what I was saying earlier about the literature of the Bible. It's wherever the Israelites are, which are us. Yeah, carry on. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. So, and set a mark of the forehead, and that's what you're looking for. The mark is this. It's, the, it's called the fawa in Hebrew, which is the mark of exemption. Have you ever watched this movie where they're killing everybody, and this this family, or this group of people, or this couple, that no matter what happened, they survive? There's been a lot of movies like that. It's like there's something that, that's protecting them. 
they're, they're able to go and hide in places or find food like a um, legend uh, I am legend okay. and the book of Eli mm -hmm. these they're showing you spiritual power yes. they're, they're showing you that thing through because it's just on Hollywood they know a lot you know <laughs> they know a lot to a certain level they know a lot a lot of these movies they actually speaking from the Bible do you know the book the movie 300 mm -hmm. was taken from the Bible mm -hmm. see that and that's us I haven't seen that yes I will show it to you judges I think it's judges 8 the 300 come for the Bible mm -hmm. you see carry on for all the abominations that so be done in the midst there's thereof. people that are signing crime meaning us Sign and crying meaning like they're not happy with what's going on. No. They don't want to live like that anymore. They're tired. They're tired of doing this. They're tired of doing that. They're tired of following, you know, these fucking systems. Excuse me. Excuse my French, you know. And they really change their life. They're changing their life slowly but surely. And they don't want Babylon anymore. They're like, born Babylon, man. We're going to follow this thing, man. We're going to do it. So the Muslims say, to those people, I'll put... Now, what? My mark on them. So when the government come against, because the government will come too against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> full force. Yo, a lot of this, a lot of black, blacks, man, the police gonna come down, man. There's gonna be a war against, war, blacks against, against the, the police, man, and the army. A lot of people will die, but they will go to war. It's coming. Because they will force us they are about to force a new lifestyle on us. The new world order is coming, man. New world order, meaning new way of doing things. We don't want, we know with the program. Hmm. So what do you think is going to happen? They've got the army, they've got, they've got the weaponry. What do you think is going to happen? You need spiritual power. Your little gun ain't going to do nothing. Again, the AK-47 or the missile or the grenade, man. They've got technology. They've got robots that are getting ready to go against <laughs> niggas, man. So you need a spiritual power to, to be protected. This is real shit. This is important. We are we we reach a point in history where we have to go back to our power, man. We tried everything didn't work. Next the time to go back to our power. Carry on, my life. Uh, verse five. And yeah. to the others, he said in my hearing. Uh -huh. Go ye after him through yeah. the city and smite. Yeah, go ye after him in the city and smite. Yeah. Let not your eyes spare, you neither see have ye pity. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Because the Moses is coming now to destroy, yes. to, to, to destroy those of him that those of us sorry, that didn't follow his law, that did what what they want. Despite the the, the, the warnings, they did what they wanted to they did what to, they did what they want to do. So the Moses say he's a judge. He's a judge. You know, let me read that quickly. Show them that the Musa is a judge. And that's what our people fail to understand. That the God, God is a judge. So what does a judge do, brother? What does a judge do? A judge, what does he do? A judge. He passed judgment. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? He passed judgment, man. He could suppress justice. Exactly. So when you when people go to jail, it's a judge who will give it his last word. So this is what he says here. I hope I find it. I think he's 37 and 28 and he says he say Psalm 37 and 28 say for the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his sent you see forsaketh not his sent and the sent are the Israelite when you read the Bible according to I believe uh, Psalm 50 and, and 5 the sent are the Israelite so he say but he loved judgment and he say they are preserved forever so when you when you ascent, meaning when you're trying to be to, 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 to embrace the vibration and keep the law and be an Israelite again, right? Yeah. When I say being Israel again, meaning like you are an Israelite, but some people are Israelite but they don't follow the laws. Yeah, but they're in true. blood, they're Israelite, though. That's true, that's correct. You see, that's you're right. an Israelite by blood, but you're, but you're not an Israelite by principle, by yeah. law. You don't, because you don't follow. No. But you say those who follow will be preserved. And you say, they are preserved, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. So, the wicked of our people, they'll be cut off, man. Or oh, it's coming. Because we think that there's no, you know, we think that there's no karma. We think that there's no consequences, which is a lie. There is consequences to what we do. 
to carry on? Slay utterly old and young. So slay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children. You see, both maids and little children. And women. Mm. See, so there will be no mercy, man. The most I will kill all these young niggas that you see, young blacks, and see all these beautiful things, these princes, these princes, these princes, because their parents didn't teach them the way. They're going to pay for that, man. Their parents will pay for it. The most is coming. Just like he came, he let the white man take us down through slavery. He's going to do the same thing again. Man. But serious, come man. not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Come not near upon whom the mark is what? Whom is the mark? Yes. Yeah, so, so you see, see? So you say when the angel comes, right? Let's say it's his trident and the angel comes. You know what's going to happen? They're going to see you and say, no, leave that guy, man. He's, he tried, he tried. Don't kill him. So the, you're going to be driving or go so the police will see you. Or they will come to, to your street, for example. They will come to your, the, they, will, they will circle this yard, for example. And let's say you leave there. And they go to every house. Pa, 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 getting niggas. Yeah? But you, they will forget about your house. They will forget to knock on your house. Because the most I will put the street on blind there when they come to you. And they will, they will be like, no. And they will go to the next house. So he, so the most I will spare you. The angel will spare you. Because, works. because, because you keep the law. You see, carry on. Like yeah. Look, okay, it's true. Carry on. Um, and begin at my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Then they began. And begin at my sanctuary. That sanctuary means Israel, the people. So this other nation will pay for what it did to us, though. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. But we're gonna pay for a first. So the monkeypox may be in a case. It will be so many other things like you know, you know, every, like plagues that will befall us, man. Plagues that will come upon us, man. Situation. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's not even started yet. No, no, no. That's nothing. You know, it's serious. That's nothing. This is why people need to wake up before. They need it gets to wake worse, up before man. it gets worse. So when you wake up now, what happened is that you, you don't know. Basically, you wake up every morning with your pain, pain of life. You know, no pain, whatever it is. But you don't know that the Musa have mercy on you, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that the Musa have mercy on you the whole time. Grace. He has mercy on you the whole time, man. Mercy. Do you see what I'm saying? You don't know that the Musa have mercy on you the whole time. Why? Because you try your best. So this is what I'm saying to brothers, man. Let us try to get back to our power. Yes, it's hard. Look, you're not going to stop smoking your weed today. Forget about it. It's not going to happen. Unless the most I want you to wake up in the morning, you don't smoke anymore. But you see, it's this one. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. When you try to change, yes. When the most I say, it's time for you to wake up. Let me tell you something, we came in the street. We were, we, were we, were being, we were still doing things, you know. But the most at some point took it off. So when you wake up and you complain, yo man, the reality is like it's hard. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. What do you think this is? This is the best thing that happened to you. It's true. It's the, but you think you, so at you least, think you think least, you're gonna get it easy. You Come have on, the man. And the, the exactly. To, to, you know? Now let me ask you a question, yeah. Can you find gold like that? It's possible. It's possible, but can you find it? Like, I'm not talking about raw gold. I'm not talking about like someone that dropped his chain or whatever. You got to dig up, brother. Yes. It's hard work, you know. It's hard work. But you find the gold. <laughs> so to find the gold and the diamond, you have to work hard. Yeah. So you know you got that you got that diamond and that gold. You think it's gonna be easy for you? My life, it's hard. That's why you wake up in the morning and you know, That's you know, you like, yeah, yeah. you like, you're like, no, man, it's difficult, bro. Like, it's, it's this and that, yes. It's meant to test you. Eventually, you're gonna wake up and you're not gonna complain anymore. Yeah. You're just gonna get it done. You're gonna get it done. You're gonna just, yeah. look, you can let me do it. It's hard, but at least I'm blessed, you know. Yeah. At least I'm blessed. Sure. You see a lot of these making this rim rasta they, 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 they don't have much. They're living in a. Uh, in somewhere in a, in, a, in a deep forest and they're eating the aital, the, how you call it, the aital, the food. Yeah. 
Yeah? And I'm blessed. And I will say I'm blessed. But I feel like you need a Lamborghini and a house to be blessed. But the brother, the guy scream and say I'm blessed. You know why? Because there's something in him that is greater than the Lamborghini and he knows that. See, the white man made us believe that the exterior is the blessing. No, the interior is the blessing. Yeah. When you're so prosper, that's why you're blessed. And how you're so prosper is through the wisdom that you get, man. Knowing who you are. Knowing that you're in Israel. You know how many people, how many people know, who they, know who they are? No. Some people just live like Negroes, man. They live like heathen. But you have a bit of knowledge. You have to keep it, man. Oh, if I have knowledge, I will keep it. I will be like, yo, I need to keep this thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving it. I'm not giving it away. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So it's very important, man, the knowledge that we have. And this is what we need to have for, uh, like you said it. I said it based on what you say. I'm building based on what you just said. You say that brother need to wake up. Yeah? They need to wake up before. Now, go to Isaiah 6 and 9. Let me, I'm, I'm using basic precept. Cause there's no point all taking all those deep precepts and then you know people probably don't understand i will show you something that unfortunately this truth is not for everyone now let me show, before you read that let me show you something quick. proverbs proverbs uh proverbs 20 20 and 24. Well, 20 and 24 says this you understand that everything that we're going through is preordained. So he says this, man's look, man's going are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? I'll read it again. Man's going of the Lord. Man's going, so when you wake up in the morning, right. and you say, I'm going Brixton. Mm -hmm. Because of the Lord. Because the Lord put it in you to go to Brixton. <laughs> Right. He put a spirit on you. Whether you do, whether it's bad or whether it's bad. When a man, when man, when man, when 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 man get up and say, man, I'm going to kill that brother today. It, it's the spirit that the, the spirit will pull him to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's not for him to go and do it. That's the test of the mind. Yeah, I know. But the thing is this. Yeah. Sometimes. Consciousness. Yes, I know. Conscious. That, that could be a test as well, because we Truth. can't. It's, yeah, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So, look. But you, you know why I read it? I read it because you came here with a brother today, man. You know Wherever what? Wherever it is. You know what? Today I'm actually feeling low with my vibration yeah, yeah, myself. Yeah. But I said, fuck it. Let me take a step with my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Calm, calm. Chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, we yeah. reason, we reason yeah. on levels. Yes, yeah, yeah, of course, yes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, <laughs> the fact is. Don't get me wrong. I can reason with my brothers over there. Yeah. But if I bring them to certain talks like this, they may find a little. Yeah, bit no, no, no. You gotta use wisdom. It's not everything that you say to brothers. Look, I don't even speak to the truth of my mother. In my family, they don't even know about that. I've got a cousin that come from France. I believe today. I told them pieces to the puzzle. Huh? It's yeah, 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 yeah. You, you just you know? give them little things here and there. But you can't give him the whole thing. Because listen, a baby cannot chew meat, you know? No. So you gotta be, you gotta use wisdom. That's what, that's what the brother was saying about the brothers and that. So my point is that you came here because the most I wanted to hear, wanted you to hear something. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Because when we read, when we read, when we read, when we read what, 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 what the brother will read, you will understand that. He blinds certain brothers yes. not to get it. So if you understand it, it's a blessing. That's today, yeah? This morning, I, I got up on a spiritual mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? music mm. some documentaries mm -hmm. a few you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. To get my, you yes know? to get your mind right <laughs> yes yes it's true certain things get your mind right certain music but music is vibration that was created by the mosai anyway well, it's vibration you know vibration yeah look reggae is a very good vibration ah. jazz is a very good vibration <clears throat> classical music is a very if in hospital if someone sick put a classical instrumental yeah, it is a radio. It will help him go through whatever it's an operation, whatever he has to go through. It will keep his spirit happy because the the yes. note, the vibration plays differently on your spirit. That's why this drill music and all of that. Sometimes you gotta listen to it, but you gotta be careful because drill have a certain vibration that play on the frequency on the mind, and it makes you react differently. 
and that See? that one is very dangerous very. because it that that, no that music yes. there no it acts fast. Yes, exactly. The vibrations See that? in right, it. Right, 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 right. It gets into the it gets in fast. It's fast. Yeah. And you react fast too. <laughs> and that's why them guys don't waste no time when it's <laughs> when it's beef time. They listen to that music before they go and they're ready for action. You see that? But, yeah, exactly. So when you say you wake up on the spiritual, that's what it means. Like, you know, the most I prepare people through their own means to get when they're supposed to get. So now we're gonna read that and you're gonna understand how bad the Musa is, man. So the Musa is bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a man of war, man. He is. Yeah, he's a man I'm of war. I'm trying to explain to people, but when you speak of war and God, they don't understand the terms. Yeah, you know why? So, you talk about Christianity now. But Christianity, they pull forth that image of God, of a peaceful God. Yes, it is. It is. Of a good God. Yes, it is. But so, just like you got rain, you got sunshine, you've got day, and you've got dark, you got happiness, yes. you got pain, yes. you got God, and on the side of God, you've got joy, you've got peace, and then you've got war and death. He's a man of war, the Bible says that. So read it. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Right. Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Hear ye indeed and understand not. Yeah. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. See ye indeed and perceive not. So there's people that will hear this truth, but they won't even know what you're talking about, man. You see what I'm saying? Because the most I program them not to accept. Do you know how many people we used to preach right in front of Tesco for years? People pass by, they don't care. Why? Because they weren't programmed to get this message. So if you get it, it's a blessing though. Now you might wake up tomorrow morning and say, like, man, like, listen, because life you wake up and you got things to do and you yeah. forget. But these are seeds today, it's a seed. Now sometimes you see, it's like you got a little pot of flowers somewhere in the back of the yard. And you leave it there, hmm. and you come and rats. You look at the, look at the flower. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you, sometime you don't even know the work that the most are doing in your life until you know. And by the time you know it, it's, it flourish already, it's true. and you can see yourself changing. So true. You know, I'm telling you, a lot of these brothers, one day they're gonna get up and then they're gonna get this truth, but someone won't get it, and that's why you say, carry on. Someone get it, man. Some for some it will be very very hard to get it, man. For some, it will be very, very hard to get it, you know? Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and yeah. shut their eyes, uh -huh. lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. You see, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. So the most I have beef with some brothers and some sisters. He doesn't want them to get the truth. So if you know the truth, it's a blessing, man. If you know this truth, it's a blessing. So keep it, go to... Um, uh, Mark 4, Mark 4, we're going to read something quickly though before, before we close up. But we wanna be, I'm not going to be long today. You know, before we close up, go to Mark 4. Mm -hmm. I think today was just for you guys, man. Huh? Yeah, what does it say? Uh, behold, they went. It's yes. not just for us, man. No, no, it's for everyone, but like, obviously, you know, because yeah. I was supposed to preach about something, yeah. but when you came, I yeah. said, let me talk about something that no. you can relate to, you know, you can, yeah. but you want to be about something else. But sometimes, with the spirit, no, I give thanks and praise for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should, we should, the spirit, the spirit move accordingly. It's like meaning, like say, okay, I want you to because do something that, for today. That meant a lot to me personally. Right, right. Calm. Yeah, that's powerful. Yeah, man. that's powerful. Yeah, that's powerful. It's been a while yeah. since I come across one of my brothers. Yeah, and then really, uh, yeah, uh, uh, reason on a level, isn't it? Yeah, that's beautiful, man. I'm happy as well to see that the brothers, because the little brother don't, they don't care, and show the humility as well, as well, you know. It shows humility, man. The brother don't, don't care, man. They, they're living their life. They don't care about this truth. But for you to be standing the whole time, you know, you, you listen to the whole people to close. You listen to from, from the beginning powerful. to... This yeah, is There's nothing to play with, you know. <laughs> this brother know, man. This brother know he, he this, tries This is best. something we need to accomplish yes. as a unit. We will, man. You know? We will, because this is just the beginning. Remember this, yeah? Remember this. The Mosa is the one, is the altar of all things. So, just like he brought it to you today, that's how it's gonna speed up things. You're yes. gonna click up. You might wake up one day and then you wanna, boom, you wanna know about the truth, you wanna do this, and then you're gonna have your own thing. You'll be preaching to brothers and teaching them. You never know with the most, but I can tell you, as 
your pain is coming joy as well come because wherever you got pain you got joy you know it's true. don't think that they'll be able to destroy all of us it's not gonna happen you know because regardless we're rising up because yes. we are gods if you think about it we are yes. we are little gods yes you know no one is god like we are we're made in his image in his image and when we rise up it's not a good thing but guess what we're about to rise up lord we but it's not you know it's not out it's not it's not it's not because we want to rise up it's because the most High want us to rise up yes. because it's part of his plan slavery was part of his plan yes but guess what how redemption is part of his plan his yes. plan too you understand what i'm saying so what you have my lad mark four and four and it came to yeah. pass as he sold some fell um, by the yeah that one should i read it because you know reading it like um yeah go to Go to, uh, where is it? Read it from the top, man. Mark chapter 4, verse mm -hmm. 1. Yeah. And he began again to teach mm -hmm. by the sea side. Right, right. And there was gathered unto him mm -hmm. a great multitude. Yeah. So that he entered into a ship mm -hmm. and sat in the sea. Mm -hmm. And the whole multitude mm -hmm. was by the sea right. on the land. Right. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. And he taught them many things mm -hmm. by parables. Mm -hmm and said unto them in his doctrine mm -hmm. hearken behold mm -hmm. there went out a sour to sow a sower, yeah. and it came to pass mm -hmm. as he sowed mm -hmm. some fell by the wayside some fell by the wayside so when you preach you have a conversation about these things the bible the, the, the knowledge and literature everything yes. you know sometimes you receive it sometimes you don't receive it we will That's break true. down how what happened to you so now that you got it today this is, this is what you have to watch out for yeah and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And the fowls of the air came and devoured us sometimes life. Yes. Bad mind. Situation. 